Welcome everyone to your manifestation video for November. Actually doing this the day before Halloween, so still have my Halloween stuff up. Okay guys, let's go ahead and see what is going on with you. I'm doing this video now because we are getting ready for a um, this big portal to open on uh, November 3rd, right? That's when it's really going to be open. It's open now, but on November 3rd, it's going to really be like pushing out that energy. Um, we do have a lot of portals coming up um, November through February uh, when energies are going to be super strong and vibrant. So it'll, it'll be a time to really want to get your affirmations out, get your manifestations going. Okay. So today we're going to be talking about um, words we use. Okay. How are we speaking to the universe? How are we using our good intentions and vibes towards ourself that are seen through the universe? Um, remember, universe doesn't understand no, it only understands yes. So therefore, it always drops the no. It always, you know, drops the don'ts, the stops, right? So we'll get more into that in just a minute. So let's go ahead and start by grabbing three cards from our beautiful Art of Manifestation Oracle deck and see how Spirit's going to lay this one out for us. Tell us, Spirit, what is going on with our speaking. Speaking to the universe over here. Ooh, look at that first card coming out is internal dialogue. Look at that right on with us. We all have an internal dialogue within our mind, a constant stream of inner conversation. Is your dialogue kind, supportive, and affirming, or is it critical and judgmental of both yourself and others? This card asks you to listen to your inner words, and if necessary, take steps to consciously change your language. That's exactly, that's so cool, because that's exactly what we're doing today. We are changing our language, learning to reprogram our subconscious thoughts and our sub and our conscious mind. So as we are reprogramming, programming our conscious words of the way we're doing things, it will therefore reprogram the subconscious to not want to do so. So with these, you want, like I said, you want to make sure that you're leading with great words, right? And for instance, guys, the first thing coming out is make sure that you are, you know, putting out there things that the universe can understand. For instance, don't and stop, as I said before universe doesn't know what you're talking about. So for instance, let's just say that you're saying out loud, um, don't play ball in the house. The universe only hears play ball in the house. This is how we want to attract things we don't want. And I know you guys have heard that before. And these are the reasons why, why you law and attract things you want and you don't want. Okay, so as you're saying, don't play ball in the house, the universe hears, play ball in the house. There you go. Ball's in the house. Okay. Stop arguing with me. The universe hears, argue with me. And therefore, people are going to start arguing with you. So therefore, when you focus on things that you don't want, and things that you want to have stop, Therefore, the focus is going there. The crazy thing is, though, is you have to understand the magnetism also, guys, of how you're using these words. Because remember, emotions. When you are saying almost the majority of everybody, I have noticed, when you say things like, don't play ball in the house, you're using, look at the magnetism of the strength that you're saying as you're yelling it. That's going to happen fast because you gave it all the emotion. Emotion you know, is that energy. And it doesn't matter. The law of attraction doesn't care if it's negative energy or positive energy because it only hears the play, the play ball in the house. But you use all that energy towards it by raising that vibration, right? When you're manifesting things, you want things that come in good to be higher and a higher vibration, right? To match the universe's higher vibration. But you just raise that vibration so much. Um, so th things that you're saying, you have to be careful what we're saying. I know you've all heard power, words are power. Thoughts are power. Even your dreams have power. 
because they're subconscious. You can actually subconsciously manifest while dreaming. Consciously doing things is only about 10%. Subconsciously, you know, is like that 99.9%. .9%. And then that dream manifesting is probably about the, you know, you see what I'm saying? Probably about 20, 30%. Not, it's not very high, right? Subconsciously is where you're getting all of your manifestations though, right? I mean, if you really wanted to cut it down from 100, go ahead and do so. You know what I'm saying? But the point that I'm making is, is that you're not putting a whole lot of power out there when you're usually just your conscious. It's really your subconscious meditation mind and then, of course, your dreaming mind, which opens up that subconscious as well. Um, then you have that super conscious. That's really what the meditation is. It's considered the super conscious um, because you're in allowing your third eye to get involved, right? Um, but you, you want to really, even when you're scripting, right? When you're scripting, you also need to use powerful words. Don't just say, I'm having a great day at universe. You know, when you're scripting how this manifestation is going, see yourself in that car. And it's like, how do I feel in this car? It is a great day. No, it's an exciting, exuberant day. Raise that vibration. Let the universe see, right? How amazing the day is. Next card coming out is lack. Leading a spiritual life does not mean living in lack. This card asks you to receive any underlining belief that you may hold regarding entitlement or worthiness that may be blocking your abilities to receive. When you have an abundance of wealth, both inner and outer, you will have an abundance to give and to share with others. But it's kind of crazy too because with lack, if we're talking about, if we're talking about the way we're speaking, this is where this I am. Let's not say I am poor anymore because the universe says, oh, you're poor. Okay, you're poor. I am unhealthy. I am sick. Oh, you're sick. Okay, well, then you're sick. I am not loved. Well, then you're not loved. There's no one around you. I'll make sure that there's no one around you. I am not worthy or material um, for marriage. Oh, okay. Well, then I won't bring anybody in for you to marry. I'll make sure that soulmate understands that you're not material to marry. See, you're pushing your own, right? And a lot of times they come out of fears, anxieties, um, unconsciously even thinking about the things that we're saying, um, low self-esteem, um, not having a good day. Uh, I'm frustrated. I'm having a hard time with this, this it, at school. I, I can't do this test. I can't do this test. Okay, you can't do that test. I'm too stupid. I don't know how to do that. Okay, you're stupid. Walk your walk, my friends. You know who you are and what you want. Walk with the, with the courageousness. Walk in the infinite light. Walk in, you know, with the ego, the self-esteem of who you are, what you want, and what you can achieve, right? So this one says, become what you believe. What do you believe, my friends? Write it down, script it. And when you're scripting, remember what I told you, make sure you get all those details in there and make sure it's in the present. You're already with this person. You already live in this house. I already own this car. I already drive this car. How does it smell? How does that car smell? Does it smell like leather? Smell it. Make yourself smell it. Receive the smell. See it. Smell it. Feel it. What does it feel like? Allow your creativity. That's why the good Lord gave us an imagination. Use it. Use it like you're five years old. <laughs> you know what I mean? It says, are your thoughts, words, and actions in alignment with your core inner values? This card asks you to walk your talk, become your own personal hero and heroine, and step into your very own version of yourself, radiating authenticity into the world. Don't worry about right now whether or not Wonder Woman is awesome or my mom is my hero. No, right now you are your hero. Because wherever you can go, you can do. So when you give out these specific things to other people, then it keeps you under the tree. It keeps you in the dark. You are the light. You are shining bright. When you are manifesting, you want to make sure that it's about you, my friends, and how you feel. Who are you? You are power. 
You know you're a power. You tell yourself, I am. I am is the same as Aum. And if you do that, do it. Aum. Right? And you can feel it humming in your mouth. Do that and then say, I am. Um, see, it has the same vibration. So because they have the same vibration and are vibrating the same thing, the words to use is I am glory. I am wealth. I am lovable. I am able to receive the gifts from the universe. I am who I am. And these are very important words that we need to use and we need to recognize these things, my friends. We have to because we have to be able to collaborate with the universe. We have to be able to collaborate with our higher self, collaborate with the higher vibrations. Sometimes we are called to develop our self-sufficiency, and this can be a valuable road, a road to travel in the discovery of our unique and individual gifts. But this is not the same as trying to do everything yourself all the time. This is not the time to go it alone. It is time to unite and work, not only with others in the world, but also your higher self, the universe, right? So think of how you're collaborating. Okay, how you're collaborating with others. Remember, you have done nothing wrong. We are here to live, we are here to grow. Let go of all fears, all regrets, anything that's holding us back from the past, accept it and let it go. The only way to truly heal from something is to accept that this is what has happened and that I wouldn't be the person that I am today unless these things actually happened. Because I wouldn't think the way that I think today. I wouldn't feel the way I feel today. I wouldn't have grown the way I grew today without the challenges of life, the, down, the downfalls, the pits, the things that made me suffer and, and cry and hurt. We all do them. Whatever has taken place was out of your control and out of your hands. It was destined to happen. This card asks you to let go of any feelings of guilt or personal blame. This was not your fault. You've done nothing wrong but live like everybody else on this planet. We all have problems one way or another. Whether it's drinking, drugs, sex, whatever the problem is listening to people who manipulate us for too long and not getting away fast enough before we can completely be, you know, get destroyed. Well, we had to learn how to take back power, take back control. But you've done nothing wrong but grow and live the life and the journey that you were supposed to do. Your soul knows what you're doing before you even enter this life. A lot of these contracts were already set up. It doesn't mean that it exactly went exactly... It's not like it was exactly scripted 100. Think of your life as a play. This is the play. This is the stage. The only difference is that because of free will, some things are said this way and not that way. But we have a lot of karmic chains because we're karmic beings. We're here to grow and push our karma into dharma. Okay. Getting the bigger picture of the situation. So as this vortex is opening, I want you to really think about the bigger picture of this situation. Really sit back and think about the way that life has gone for you. Think about the words and how you can transform yourself. And think about, am I using these kind of words? Am I not using enough hopeful words? Am I not using the right kind of grammar? Am I using too many negative words and not enough positive words? We all fall into that pit trap as well. Been there, done that one. I still catch myself to this day because we're going to do that because we're human. So sometimes, particularly during times of accelerated growth, we feel confused and overwhelmed and able to see the woods for the trees. This card asks you to stand back and see the bigger picture. Everything is happening just as it should, and you will soon regain that clarity. So anything that you feel unsure about right now will will become clear. Give it time. Time is an essence. Time is a virtue. Patience is a virtue. So is time. Okay, so let's go over here and see what the spirit has to say. As you're getting ready for this vortex to open, guys, don't forget to cleanse your space. Okay, 
remember cleansing your space is a very important piece. I want to bring that up really fast in this video. Um, hold on, guys. I have it written down. It's decluttering your mind of negativities and emptying your cup of negative energy. When your cup is full of good energy, stop pouring. Start aligning yourself with the universe to manifest, co-create with the universe. Use your breath work to release the negative emotions and thinking. Okay? And remove those things that you're holding on to that cause negative emotions. You guys are still holding on to, you know, boyfriend Tim's, uh, you know, sweater because I always love the way it smelled because it has the greatest, you know, cologne. But every time I hold it, it brings back these really bad memories. Um, you got to throw that away. It holds you back. And you could even say, you know, some of you might even say, I don't understand why I can't get a new boyfriend. But man, I sure do have all of Tim's stuff. And you need to close that door, my friend, so you can allow the new to come in. Release the old energies around the house. That way you can allow something in, right? You need to grab your broom and start sweeping, right? It's witching season. Let's grab our brooms and sweep, um, right? Cleanse um, out the cobwebs, um, right? So we definitely want to remember to do that. And that's really good for this manifestation, seriously really need to cleanse, cleanse out your old energies, old guilt, old feelings, okay, things that you might feel like you have done something wrong, let's accept what's happened and say, you know what, I'm human, shit happens, let's move forward, okay, because tomorrow's a better day, that was the past, and I can't be holding on to all of that from the past because it serves me nothing today, I'm not even that same person, why am I holding on to those things, I'm not even that person, why am I holding on to that, so I screwed up, why were you, you know, I know some people that actually hold on to things for years and years and years. And just like, oh my God, you're really going to hold on to, you know, those memories for 40 years? I mean, come on, guys. You know? And if it's something that you regret doing, maybe it's something you want to think about maybe going back to. Like if you regret uh, you were a college dropout, something like that, maybe you would like to return back to school, return back to something, right? There's other ways around things. You don't have to hold on to things, right? And those are for some of you, not all of you, of course. Okay, so right now we need to, with the internal dialogue, we want to remember that, here we go with our affirmations. Remember, start bringing these in because this is all about talking. I, All my needs are met above and beyond my greatest expectations. You guys remember, when you start manifesting things, it's already given to the universe. The universe is already holding on to those dreams. It's just about whether or not and when the timing is for those to come from the fifth dimension into the third dimension. Will they make it? They're sitting up there. You can figure like you have your own little cloud. That's how I always see it. It's like you have your own little cloud and this cloud has all these little, you know, um, all these little hopes and dreams and all these things that are really like kind of playing out. Kind of reminds me of like a parallel universe. If you could think that we live in a parallel universe, whether we do or not, it's not the point. The point is, is that I would be doing this over there. You know what I mean? But I haven't brought it to this universe yet. Kind of like that. It's an easy way to look at it. I always look at it from a child's point of view because I have kids and I always homeschooled. So I was always trying to give, you know, different kinds of examples of things. Um, so that's, you know, always been a good thing for me. But yes, you, you have great abundance, guys, and you already have it. It's waiting for you. It is yours. All of your thoughts, focus. Focus on what you, don't say I lack. You don't lack nothing. You really lack nothing. The only thing you're lacking at this time is the 100% way of manifesting, and that's why you're learning. It takes a long time for some people to really get it down, right? That's the only thing you're really lacking is putting it all together. With, with practice, we become perfect, right? Practice, practice makes perfect. All of my thoughts are directed towards my highest good. Yes. Make sure that you're always looking. You don't want to say things like, I'm poor, or I can't get a job, or, I mean, why? Why are you keeping yourself down? Why are you keeping yourself out? Why are you keeping yourself out of the cold? Why are you giving yourself lack? And remember, some will always have more than others. That's just the way life works. 
you know, we're still on a soul mission over here. The soul says, you know, because what if the soul said, but you were already a pretty princess in the last life. I don't want you to be super duper rich. I want to learn how to be semi-poor and super happy, but still have the things that I can maintain. Maybe it's not meant for you to be super rich because you were already that. Maybe you would need to be super in love. Maybe it really just wants to learn to be in love. What is love? Find me my Prince Charming. I didn't have one last time. Everybody still has a soul mission. But with, you know, free will, we're going to get to where we need to be. That's why some will still attain more than others. The glory of the universe flows through me. Let it go. Let it flow. Let you yourself know, you know, what, and your soul's going to let you know what's attainable and what's not, you know. If they don't think it's good for you and it's not good for their soul mission, then you, I don't want you to have it, you know. My protection, God's protection. And is it always just God's protection or is it also just because, like I said, it's a part of the mission. I need to have this. I want to know this. You did it before you got here. You just don't remember because you have what we call earth amnesia. I'll never forget that. <clears throat> Opening. I am open to receiving the gifts of the universe. Always being open. Guys, when you're doing your meditation, make sure your hands are open. This shows the universe that you're receiving. Your hands will start getting warm. Why do all of a sudden do your hands get warm? Because you're receiving the energy. Releasing and receiving, releasing and receiving. So your hands are warm. If your hands are cold, then you don't have no energy, right? Some people get so much energy, they actually turn red. I've actually seen that. It's like, whoa, you're going to get what you wanted. <laughs> it's like you're going to get, and probably tomorrow, I don't know, your hands turned red, like, whoa. Actually warm to the touch. It's like, a, that's what I want to be, right? It's what I want to be when I grow up, right? <clears throat> But those are people who have mastered yoga, and I mean, they're, they've, they've mastered things, right? And you're like, whoa. Action. I step into my glorious future with determination and power, and that's where we all are. That's literally all of us. We're shooting for the stars over here, guys. And we're going to get it. We're all going to do it. We're all going to do it together, right? It's a conscious thought and a conscious awareness as we're all learning. And acceptance. Let's always remember I unconsciously accept, cherish, and love myself just the way I am. I love that one. Okay, let's get to the next one. Guys, we're going to get this, right? We're super strong. We're, vi we're vibrant. We know what we can do. I can do it. Don't forget your chakras play the biggest part of your manifestation. Remember them, right? Starting with a crown, I know who I am. I can see who I am, right? With third eye, I speak who I am, and I speak my own reality in, or my own dreams into reality. Throat chakra. Heart chakra. I know who I am, and I love myself. Intentions. Solar plexus. I have the intentions. I have the strength and the power to know that I can do this. I can. Literally, over here, going straight to the <clears throat> sacral chakra. I will. I desire. Vitality root chakra, this is how I survive. This is what I have. I have this. You keep telling yourself when manifesting, right? Because you're in the present. I have that car. I have this love. Our thoughts lead us to our reality. Not so much our conscious thoughts. That only leads us to about 10% of our subconscious thinking that leads us all the way to what we want. Right? Hey guys. Make sure that you are decluttering any things that are holding you back and finding new things to be in tune with. Finding your tribe and finding people that can also help you attune to higher vibrations, right? So staying away from negative people during um, those times. Remember, attracting, not chasing, right? Anything or anyone you want, you chase after will run the other way. Because of the fears underlining chasing energy. Instead, attract what you need by sending out, out love, gratitude, and welcoming energy. Don't chase it down. Right? 
Suffer vows of poverty. We just talk about this. Dear one, there is no need to suffer or sacrifice. Hold the intention of undoing any vows of poverty or self-denial that you may have made, consciously or unconsciously, in any lifetime. As you do so, all effects of these vows will be undone for everyone involved in the directions of time. Okay, guys, I'm getting one more. Ooh, I love this. Clearing debts. Oh, man. Thanks, Spirit. Your self-care involves removing the heavy burdens of financial or emotional debts from your life. You already feel lighter and freer just by facing this topic and making a plan to clear present obligations and avoid future ones as well. You guys got this? Got this? And, you know, keep telling yourself, you know, for 21 days. You guys can do the 21-day challenge. That's what I've been doing. Um... You know, with the person that I've been doing my my stuff with, and that's just reading off your affirmations. I am love. I am light. I am in acceptance. I am wealthy. I'm allowed to have my manifestation. Do that for like 21 days and then see how everything changes within your life. Okay. I welcome love and romance into my life. To love oneself is the beginning of a lifetime romance. There you guys go for love. Abundance is my birthright. Remember these. These are true, right? If you want love and abundance in your life, give it away. We're not here to hurt and be in pain. We're here to get hurt, get some pain, and then walk right out of it. <laughs> right? I am beautiful. Beauty begins the moment you you decide to be yourself. Let the universe see how beautiful you are. Let everybody know how beautiful you are because everyone on this planet is beautiful one way or another. It's just whether or not, how are you shining it, right? Because we know that beauty is not just on the outside, but beauty is definitely from the inside. And I affirm my own power and strength. Never underestimate your own strength. You were born for a purpose and are blessed with the power to achieve it. That was probably the best one of them all. <laughs> Love it. Okay, guys, choose your happiness. Do what you need to do, and I will be back with another manifestation video. Okay, and don't forget the biggest thing of it all. We are talking about manifesting, so we need that action. Action. Take that action. Action helps it move extremely quick, right? When you are manifesting, take the action, right? If you do not take the action, right, it just goes at its normal pace. But when action is there, it makes it move much faster. Remember, law and attraction only asks you to believe in your system, right? With the action, though, this belief becomes even more. So always make sure that you're taking some action, right? you want that love right get out there go to that supermarket and try to find it <laughs> wherever it might be right because no matter what the universe is going to bring that to you and it'll probably come at the weirdest moment in your life you don't know because remember when you visualize what you're doing you can only visualize so much because no matter what you'll never know exactly how it's going to go down because the universe is in control of how it's all going to come together. So never underestimate what's going to happen within the universe because they take care of that. You co-create, they're 100% in control. So you could say, oh, but if I do it this way, that would be unrealistic. Really? Well, the universe will tell you otherwise. Till next time, my friends. Peace and love. Bye-bye.